Welcome, 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 my lovelies. Um, thank you if you're watching, thank you very, very much. Um, before we, this is just a quick video, just a short video, because I've been dying to show you something that I think I mentioned in my previous video at the end, big tease that I am, um, but I'm going to reveal all now. Ooh, uh, misses. Um, but before we go ahead with that, I just would like to say um, a big hello, first of all, to Angela Dawson, who has just subscribed. Hi, Angela. Welcome to the family. Thank you very much if you're watching. Also, the Pip144, if I can call you Pip for short. Uh, welcome to you too. Thank you very much. And also, I'm just Charlotte, which you're not just Charlotte. You're probably the Charlotte, but whoever you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining our family. And I hope you watch other videos to come. Um, but I just wanted to say hello to you guys. Um, and one of the reasons saying hello to everyone, if you subscribe and it shows your name, then I write it down in my little book here. And I love to say hello to you personally. Um, if someone had done that to me on a video, it would, I would feel ecstatic. Um, and in saying that, I must make... I must mention uh, one of my, I'm, I'm calling you friends on here, um, uh, Mary K. Ryan. You're probably watching Mary. Um, you wrote a lot, uh, lots of lovely messages uh, to me on YouTube. And the, la the last one, when I mentioned your name, the way you described it, <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was ecstatic. How excited you were to have your name mentioned uh, on, on, on the video. Um, you said you were like um, Steve Martin from The Jerk. If anyone, if any of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, if you don't, you won't know what I'm talking about. Um, but it was when the phone book arrived. The phone book's arrived! The phone book's arrived! And he's looking through it and he goes, I'm in print. From now on, things are going to change for me. Or whatever. Um, and it was just, I just remember the bit in the film. So when you wrote that, Mary, it just, I laughed out loud. That's, <laughs> that is just, things like that make it all worthwhile to say hello to you guys when, uh, when I know you've subscribed. Um, you're not just another subscription. You're, this is part of my life doing this. So anyway, um, before I also do the reveal, just to show you quickly, I've been potting away like crazy. Um, I've, uh, I don't need to put these on, um, but I've got a whole load of pottery that, uh, that I have bisque fired. Um, I'll hold some of it up here and show you. So these are all different sizes, different uh, colours and whatever. And I need to get these glazed and fired. Um, it takes ages making the pots because you have to use little tools and things. So they take quite a while to produce each one, then to let it dry for days then to fire it in the kiln and biscuit, then to glaze it, then to fire it overnight in the kiln again. So that for what they are, for, for what I charge, um, I don't think it's, it's, it's not a lot of money. And I hope if you look at my Etsy shop, which I will put the description down below, as everyone says on YouTube, um, then hopefully you'll click on the link and have a look in my shop. Um, I am adding usually about eight pots at a time, eight vases at a time on each advert um, because you can't do more photos. I can only do up to 10 photos and a couple of the photos are usually grouped uh, with the letters on or whatever so you can choose your, your vase. Thank you so much, by the way. Um, I can't remember everybody's names, but Rachel Salmon, I don't, you may not even watch my videos, um, but you've bought some pots. You're, I've just sent another one off to you today in uh, lovely, beautiful Torquay in, uh, here in, in Devon. Um, I uh, um, was Torquay in Cornwall, Devon. It's my favourite place as well in the world to go down to Cornwall and Devon. Anyway, um, and also to um, Juana Landa, uh, you've uh, you, you've bought pots off me. I've just uh, sent some more vases off to you or vases, better way to pronounce it for our friends over the pond. Um, sent some vases to you. Um, if anyone's watching this now and hasn't looked at my shop or anything, but is interested in buying miniature uh, vases or anything, 
then uh, if you buy two or more, even from the different adverts, it doesn't have to be from the same block, um, but if you buy two or more and do it all in one go, so I get a message and I can see you've bought two or three or four, um, then uh, I will definitely, uh, I've just learned how to do partial refunds and things. So because I can put them all together in one uh, parcel and ship them off to you, then I will uh, automatically send you a bit of refund and that always helps so uh, it brings the brings the the, the moolah down or the money down so anyway so i'm going to be doing that now after the video i'm going to get some more glazing done and uh, i've got this one here it's not going uh, it's not going on etsy yet i'll just show you it's beautiful the way it's come out um but this was made i made this as a um Hopefully it's going to be a floor, a big uh, floor um, flower pot um, and I've actually made a, a plant to go in it. So I'm going to put the plant in, put it all together and then I'll show you it on a little video and by that time it will be then in my Etsy shop. So maybe, maybe someone will like it enough to buy it. So I'll put that up there. Oh, that's if you can see that one, that's another one. I just think it's beautiful I'm, uh, I'm deciding whether to keep it or to sell it I keep making vases and then think oh I love it too much and then I don't want to sell them in fact all the ones I put on for sale I just want to keep if I was wealthy I would just keep them all right okay so big reveal um, on my last video I said I would introduce you to someone uh, a him and before I show you, um, you must take into account that A, I only make these little vases on a pottery wheel, so that's throwing pottery. Well, I've now bought a large pottery wheel. I'm going to attempt other things as well uh, and expand a bit. Um, but uh, that's the first, the, 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 this is the only pottery I've ever done. Um, and I have attempted um, sculpture. <laughs> so I have made a sculpture. So... Keep that in mind when I show you, and don't instantly think, what a load of trash, hopefully. <laughs> or some of you might think, quite good for a first attempt, but I have never done a sculpture before. So I will introduce you to, this is Harrison, my kiln god. <laughs> hopefully you'll notice that he's meant to be Aztec. Um, with this uh, patterned bowl on his head um, but he's a, an Aztec god with his little sandals there um, I'll just turn him round for you I have to say I'm extremely pleased because I've never made never sculpted anything in my life as I say but that's um, that's Harrison and uh, he's, he's got this dish on his head there that he's holding and uh, from now on, all my fire-ins, when I put my, my, this square in the kiln, glazed, and I switch it on to do a fire-in, then I'm going to get the little, we get little cone-shaped incense. We, we have the sticks, incense sticks, but we also have little cone-shaped ones. And I'm going to sit one in there and light it and blow it out, and then he'll have the incense coming out from this little basket or whatever it is I've made on his head. Um, and he will look after my um, ceramics while they're being cooked in the kiln. So that's the, I've, you, you probably can't, I don't know how well you can see it in this light, but I used a, a darker glaze, a mottled glaze on the base there, and then this glaze here, um, it goes sort of metallic in colour when it works. But I had to make a, get a really weird sort of long uh, firing programme Put in it wasn't a basic firing program because he's got thin bits and thicker bits he's hollow inside but he's got his legs are solid and blah 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 anyway so I had to do a special program for that and I'd had no idea if he was going to be in one piece when he came out so I am extremely pleased um, but there we are that's Harrison my kiln god so if anyone would like to say hi to Harrison that's uh, feel free <laughs> I'm sure he would appreciate it. So there we are, folks. So just this quick video 
Um, as I say, I'm always putting my vasors on uh, Etsy, usually in groups of eight. But if, as I say, if you if you do like them enough to to, to buy one or two, um, if you buy two or more, even from different adverts in my shop, um, then I'll notice that, and I'll I will send you a little refund as well, just to help us all really. Um, but yes, and if you know anyone that may be interested in miniatures, and you may think. Uh, would be something they would like then please please send them the link to my shop my Etsy shop I would be extremely grateful um, I've uh, I don't know I've just gone off on this and just got crazy over over um, throwing pottery now um, but I have literally spent thousands now um, getting the the kiln and the wheel and the glazers and everything else none of it is cheap um, all just to make a bit of money where I could have just kept all that money to start with um, so I'm going to need to sell a heck of a lot of uh, vases to uh, make any money back um, but yes so I'm, uh, I'm begging you if you're watching please tell somebody about me I would be extremely grateful and hopefully I won't have to sell everything um, to pay the bills hopefully I shall just carry on making and growing which is what we all like to do. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, in the middle of doing another video at the moment, so I'll get that one finished and get that put on, uh, on uh, YouTube for you to see, okay? So thank you very, very much for watching, folks, and I hope you are all well and safe. Take care, everybody. Bye.